Today we're exploring the Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce's annual Island Art Festival, where the heart of the community comes alive through craftsmanship and creativity. This fair has it all, from the strokes of talented painters capturing stunning landscapes, to the skillful hands of woodworkers fashioning unique pieces from reclaimed materials. Many of these beach-themed crafts are born from the shores of nearby beaches, encapsulating the fairy spirit of the Keys. Welcome to the Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce Art Festival, where they feature artists from around the Lower Keys. There's a lot of talented people out here trying to carve out a living and a way of life in the Keys, and we're here to support them today. Let's go check it out. These local businesses craft every piece with passion and dedication. We love buying local because it not only supports these talented artists, but it helps to preserve the essence of our community. And supporting local doesn't necessarily mean purchasing a physical product. Local musician Mateo serenades the crowd with beautiful tunes not only filling the air, but inspiring folks of all ages through his skills with guitar lessons. We are one of a handful of farms in the U.S. growing certified organic and certified biodynamic hemp. And we have been doing that since 2016. We have a full line of products. We have the skincare over here, uh, which includes lip balms, eye balms, facial serums, body oils, body butters, man serum, beard oil, which you're very familiar with. Then we have our therapeutic topical salves. These are award-winning at the national level at the Agricultural Exposition Indo Expo, both the Women's Moon Balm and the Juniper Joint Rub. Moving around, we have our ingestibles. Elderberry syrups, uh, we have a sleep tincture, anxiety tincture, and CBD compound. And they are all completely natural, no chemicals, no preservatives, non-GMO. And we are also Leaving Bunny certified. Ooh, awesome. Like that. <laughs> so Jacqueline, you put some on earlier. I did. My feet got eaten by no CMs the other night. We were at Thanksgiving with friends and they just completely destroyed my feet. She gave me a sample of her Bug Bite Settle Salve and it worked amazingly. I'm not itchy anymore. All of this is made possible by the unwavering support of the Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce. They are the backbone of these small businesses, fostering growth and connection within our community. Empowering entrepreneurs and providing them with resources as well as a platform to thrive. I'm here with Steve Miller, the Executive Director of the Lower Chamber of Commerce. Of the I'm the Executive Keys. Director of Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce. There you go, you said it better. <laughs> I have a bit more practice. So what exactly does the Lower Keys Chamber of Commerce do? Well, the Chamber of Commerce is here for the businesses in the Lower Keys. And basically what we do is help them in succeeding. We like to point people towards those businesses and um, give them as much exposure as we possibly can. Right, and you do like a monthly get-together, correct? Yes, we do a great networking event every month. We do it on the first weekend of every, uh, the first Wednesday, pardon me, of every month. 
and uh, it's pretty nice. We usually have about 50, 60, well, we have up to even 70 actually people uh, show up. We have uh, just light snacks, some drinks, and mm -hmm. then um, the person from the business will talk about the business a little bit, and then we give away prizes, which is my favorite part. It is fun. Um, Nick I, and I have actually gone a few times, and I think we've won three out of the four times we've uh, gone. And I, I, I get to be like Santa Claus, you know? That's true. I got the belly, I got the beard, why not? <laughs> Just talking, he started his beach boat company a year ago. And maybe tell us what makes your towels unique. So, we got these really cool towels, they have a zipper pocket. So, you can hide your stuff. I've had my stuff stolen on the beach before, so with these, nobody sees it. You put your stuff in there, but uh, they're oversized, they're quick drying, they're sand resistant, they're so soft. And so, I made all these other products for uh, you know, beachgoers. In this pirate town, I like to think of art festivals as a hidden treasure trove waiting to be uncovered. Just like pirates, we're all here seeking chests of gold as we embark upon a thrilling adventure, discovering one-of-a-kind treasures crafted by skilled artisans. Every booth is a new chest filled with unique creations. Exquisite jewelry glistening like precious gems intrinsically designed textiles reminiscent of rich tapestries, and ceramics resembling ancient artifacts. The thrill of finding that perfect handcrafted piece is akin to stumbling upon a rare gem in a trove of treasure. It's an experience that ignites curiosity and excitement, promising delightful surprises at every turn. Island Arts Festival yes. is what we're showcasing this episode, and you have another bigger event coming up that's similar? Oh yes, we have lots of events, but the next one coming up is the uh, Nautical Expo. Our Nautical Expo happens on Martin Luther King uh, weekend every year, which this year falls on January 13th and the 14th. Okay. We have about 100 vendors come for this one, and usually our turnout is in the thousands. Wow. We have a couple of thousand people. Now, this is much nicer because uh, there's another one that is very successful that is up the Keys, but it's right on the highway and quite literally shuts down US-1. Uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's something else. Ours, you can still park. You park across the street from the chamber and you'll walk across. So we're not shutting everything down. And oh my gosh, there's so many cool things yeah. here. Lots of great food. We have musicians that come out nice. that kind of keep you entertained. And we like to keep it in that like nautical theme. So mm -hmm. you'll find uh, you'll find things for your boat, things for fishing, mm -hmm. but you'll also find nautical theme uh, things for your home, artwork, mm -hmm. furniture, uh, just a lot of neat stuff yeah. that you didn't realize. There's and some really great artists down here. Oh, there are <laughs> there too, are. and they've yeah. got great imaginations. <laughs> they do. You get a lot of new travelers coming through the Keys. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend this being their first stop on their way down? Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Uh, we have a wonderful staff that, the, the great thing about our staff is they love the Keys. They love the islands, they love where they're at. So if you talk, it doesn't matter if you talk to Bill, who will talk your ear off by the way, <laughs> Lynn, Andrea, Sandra, they will all go into great length. They'll tell you history, they'll tell you places to check out. Uh, and they're a very enthusiastic group. They are. Everybody's so friendly. I was just telling Bill, we love it so much here. We don't even know if we're ever going to leave. <laughs> uh, that, well, I'm sure you hear that a lot. <laughs> I came here for the weekend back in 1984, so I understand. Did you really? <laughs> yes. uh, and we, by the way, we do have a lot of really, really great events. Uh, we've got the Nautical coming up. Then in uh, March, we'll be doing our radio auction, which Ooh. is a lot of fun. Uh, we have a great time with that in June. We have our uh, dolphin tournament in July. We have the Underwater Music Festival. Right, we have um, that one. Uh, we'll have a job fair coming up. I believe we're talking about possibly doing a golf tournament. And we'll also have our uh, Island Art Fair that happens 
on uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving every year. Yep, a lot of great things. All right, thank you, Steve, for your time. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Every purchase from these local artisans is not only an investment in a unique new product for you, but also in the heart and soul of your community. Support local, embrace creativity, and keep small businesses alive. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure.